Hi guys, my name is Shrenik Jain and in this video we will study about energy and power signals. So first we will see some basics, then we will see some solved examples, then we will see the special cases. Now this is important for the exam point of view. Then we will see some tricks and this is important for gate exam. So these are the four steps we will do in this video and I highly recommend you watch this video till the end to score full marks on this topic. So let's start with the basics. So let's talk about the basics. The very first point I will talk only about the continuous time signal in this video. About the discrete time signal I will cover that in the future videos that is in the next video. So let's talk about the continuous time signal. So it is represented by T notation correct. And from the question, you will get some function. Once you get the function, let's say that is equal to x of t. So basically you are getting x of t from the question. And using that, you have to find the energy signal and you have to find the power signal. So how will you do that? Let's see. First point is take the mod of that function. That is mod of x of t. Second point, integrate that function. So integrate minus t to t. So the limits are minus t to t and mod of x of t the whole square. So basically you are taking the square of the given function. And because it is a continuous time signal using the integral and the respective dt. And you will get some answer in terms of t. Why? Because the limits are in t. Correct? So you will get the answer in terms of t. Now the third point is you have to find the energy. Now this is important. To find the energy, whatever you got, because this is in terms of t, put limit t tends to infinity of that value. If you put that, you will get the energy and that would be in units joules, correct? And if you have to find the power, what you have to do? You have this value in terms of t, divide that value by 2t, then put limit t tends to infinity. If you do this, you will get power and the power unit is watt, correct? So these are the four simple steps how you can find whether it is an energy signal or power signal. Pretty simple, correct? Now let's look at the second basic. So from the previous slide, you understood how to find energy and how to find power. Now the question is how you can say that whether it is an energy signal or whether it is a power signal. So the concept is here. If, if you got power is some constant and you got energy as infinity, then you can say that it is power signal. And if you got energy as some constant and you got power is equal to zero, then you can say that it is energy signal. So the concept is whatever you got constant, that is the signal. If power is constant, it is power signal. If energy is constant, it is energy signal. And if power is constant, you will definitely get energy as infinity. And if energy is constant, you will definitely get power is zero. So this was the second basic. Now let's look at the third basic. So the third basic is if you have a signal periodic, then it is a power signal. So how I remember P is equal to P. If signal is periodic, like what are the periodic signal? So the first question, only U of T is periodic. On, uh, you can say sine is also periodic. Cos is also periodic. E raised to J omega. This is complex exponential is periodic. Whereas E raised to omega is exponential and it is non-periodic. So this is important like complex exponential is periodic, but exponential is non-periodic. Correct? So these are the periodic and now if a signal like a given signal is periodic, then you can say it is a power signal. And if a given signal is non-periodic, then it is energy signal. Means that power signal means it will have only power term and energy would be infinity. So your task become little bit simple. Like if you know that the given signal is periodic, then it is a power signal and you have to find only the power and not energy. And if you know that a given signal is non-periodic, you have you know that it is energy signal and you have to find only energy and not power because you know that the power would be zero. So this will help to save your time, save your energy because if you know it is periodic, it is power and you have to find power. If you know it is non-periodic, you know it is energy signal and you have to find only energy. Pretty simple. So these are the periodic functions. So let's see some example. So our first example is x of t is given as e raised to minus 2t u of t. Now one is the non-periodic, other is the periodic. If you multiply non-periodic with periodic, answer is non-periodic. So you know that it would have energy as constant because non-periodic is energy signal. Energy signal means it will have energy as constant and power would be zero. So now you know that. So let's solve. First step was taking the mod of this function. 
since there is no negative sign present so it will remain as it is e raised to minus 2t u of t second point is you have to find the integral and the limits are minus t to t then you have the square of this so square of this would be e raised to minus 4t u of t now square of this is nothing but this only u of t and then you have dt now i want to say that this is valid from 0 to infinity this is valid from 0 to infinity so this is the u of t graph and you can see at the negative side it is 0 so this limit can be changed to 0 to t why because from you can say that minus t to minus 1 the value is equal to 0 you can see there is nothing from u of t graph you can note that at the negative side there is nothing negative infinity to negative 1 the value is 0 that is I have written here this is nothing but negative infinity to negative 1 and the value is 0 so the limits are 0 to t where the function is valid and e raised to minus 4t dt now simple solve the integral I hope you know e raised to minus 4t upon minus 4 and t to 0 if you put t you will get e raised to minus 4 capital T upon minus 4 plus you will get because minus of minus will become plus and plus you will get 1 by 4 so this is the answer of this integral so the concept here was pretty simple take the mod take the integral now because this is valid from 0 to t that's why we are taking the limit of 0 to t because for minus t to minus 1 the value is 0 because the function is not valid simple then solving this integral landing up at this answer now it's time to find energy and power so we got this to find energy what we said that put limit t tends to infinity to this value if you put that what will happen this will this will become e raised to minus infinity that is equal to 1 by e raised to infinity that is equal to 1 by infinity that is equal to 0 so this term would be gone and only this would be remaining so answer would be 1 by 4 and as we said for non-periodic energy signal and energy signal means energy is constant and so the value of energy is now 1 by 4 joules correct so I hope you are getting the flow for power what will happen limit t tends to infinity that value upon 2t now this t is not cut in the numerator because it is e raised to minus 4t and there is no way possible we can cancel out this t so this t is tending to infinity that is equal to 1 by infinity that is equal to 0 that's why I said if it is non-periodic then it is energy signal this means that energy is constant and power is 0 and you can note that power is 0 and that's it I hope you got this so this is 0 this is 1 by 4 joules now let's look at some special cases so the case number 1 we have the very special case in first that is the ramp signal so what is a ramp signal ramp signal is equal to t into u of t so basically it is valid from positive side like 0 to infinity and the value is t time so it is linearly increasing so this is the ramp signal correct so this is t and you can say this is the amplitude so this is the ramp signal and for ramp signal what is energy and what is power so energy is infinity and power is infinity so it is neither energy so this is a special case this is neither energy nor power you can solve the integral like let's solve for energy first then you can solve that for power also as it is valid from 0 to t then we have to take mod so already it is positive and then we have to take the square so t square dt after solving this integral you will get t cube by 3 correct and the limits are t to 0 put that t cube by 3 so this is the integral if I put limit t tends to infinity to this t cube by 3 answer would be infinity so energy is infinity now let's talk about power divide this by 2t alright so limit t tends to infinity t cube by 3 into 2t because for power we divide this answer by 2t then we put t tends to infinity so that we can get power now t t cancels so we get t, uh, t square in the numerator again t is tending to infinity so the answer is infinity so energy is also infinity power is also infinity so the case is for ramp this is the graph energy and power is infinity so it is neither energy nor power so the second case we have is the complex exponential complex exponential so what is that correct so what is complex exponential first it is complex so it will have j second it is exponential so it will have e so e raised to some j omega 
if this is the case and because it is a continuous time signal it will have t so if this is the case then what is the answer so let's take some example like let's say it is e raised to j e raised to j let's say pi by 7 t and the amplitude here let be phi so phi into e raised to j pi by 7 t so if this is the function and that is equal to x of t then what is the energy and what is the power first point as we said to find it trickily if this is complex exponential this is periodic if this is periodic this is power signal and if it is a power signal then it will have power as constant and energy as infinity so let's see how we can find that first is we have to take the mod if you are taking the mod then see this is the important part e raised to j theta it is in the form that if we take mod of that this is equal to root of cos square theta plus sin square theta so mod value is equal to 1 so this is the important concept so this is very special case why special case because mod of complex exponential is equal to 1 because e raised to j theta t or let's say anything theta means let's say pi by 70 it is equal to cos theta plus j sin theta and that is why it is important why again why because it is a complex exponential it is in the form this and the mod of this is equal to root of cos square theta plus sin square theta and the value is equal to 1 so when we talk about mod phi will remain as it is and e raised to j pi by 70 will get converted into 1 because the mod of this is equal to 1 simple now when we talk about the next point then take the minus t to t square of this so what will happen dt correct then so what would be the answer minus t to t we have this only so phi square that is 25 dt solving this will get 25 into 2t correct now if you have to find energy limit t tends to infinity of this because we have 2t t is present so it will land up to infinity when we talk about power divide this value by 2t so limit t tends to infinity if you divide this by 2t 2t get cancelled and limit t tends to infinity of 25 so the answer is 25 watt so you can see that for periodic signal correct because this is periodic power is constant energy is infinity so let's talk about the next case that is the case 3 it is like sin you have cos you have u of t only u of t correct so sin cos anything so let's take one example like, like let's say sin of 6 pi t and the amplitude let's say 4 so 4 into sin 6 pi t is equal to x of t if this is the case then what is energy and what is power simple put that mod of x of t then you will get 4 sin 6 pi t correct then take the integral minus t to t you can say uh, mod of x of t the whole square dt then it would be minus t to t 16 would be out because 4 square is 16 and this would be sin square 6 pi t dt now solve this integral how you will solve sin square theta can be written as 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 and solve that and you will get the value as you will get 16 into 2 t upon 2 so this you will get because this 2 will remain in the denominator and this will get converted into 2 t why because this will tend to 0 in, t in, in the integral and this would convert into 2 t simple so integral solving is how sin square theta would be converted into 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 then integral of 1 would be 2t because the limits are minus t to t integral of cos 2 theta would be equal to 0 correct you can solve that integral and you can check so that's it and the answer would be 16 into 2t upon 2 now you have to find energy how you will find energy limit t tends to infinity and it would be 8 into 2t this is the value as 8 into 2t so the answer would be infinity because t tends to infinity answer is infinity now we have to find power limit t tends to infinity 8 into 2t upon 2t because in power we divide it by 2t so the answer would be 8 so for periodic signal again so for the periodic signal power would be constant energy would be infinity simple so this was the case 3 now let's go for the case 4 so now let's talk about the last case so case 4 only amplitude so only amplitude means let's say i have the example as x of t is equal to phi so there is only amplitude no other function so if it is only amplitude what you can do again take mod of that that is equal to phi take limit minus t to t square of that that is 25 then you have dt 
then what you will get 25 into 2t after solving the integral now if you have to find energy put limit t tends to infinity 25 into 2t answer is infinity if you have to find power limit t tends to infinity 25 into 2t upon 2t then what you will get 25 so this is the case because this is periodic you will get power and energy as infinity so this is the case now let's talk about the trick so this is the very important point in this video you won't get in any book so the trick is very very important i'm saying this because for the exam point of view for checking your answer and for the gate examination this is the ultimatum so how the trick works when we talk about power signal that is for periodic correct if the function is periodic you will get the power signal and when we talk about non periodic that is energy signal correct now for power signal you know that power would be present and energy would be infinity here you know that energy would be present and power would be zero now how to find power in the periodic that is the trick there are two types so the first type is the type a sine something a cos something a into u of t so this example would be phi into sine omega c t like 7 cos omega t or here let's say 25 into u of t somewhat like that so the, this was the example but this is the generalized term and there can be only amplitude like a or it can be like a into e raised to j omega t so the type here is only amplitude or it can be complex exponential so for this the answer is you can write straight away without solving the answer is a square by 2 here you can see the answer is a square so this is the trick so what is the trick trick is for periodic functions it would be power signal and power would be constant but how to find the power you solve the integrals correct and you got the answer but can you get the answer directly yes how there are two types of signals for periodic either it could be a sine something a cos something or a u of t or it can be only a a into e raised to j omega t that is exponential that also important point is complex exponential because exponential is non periodic and it would land up here but complex exponential is periodic and the answer is a square so example as we saw in our previous cases if i say that so suppose we have 4 sine we have pi by 70 so what is the answer first point it is periodic yes it is power signal the power would be constant and the answer would be a square by 2 so this is a a square would be 16 by 2 so the answer is 8 so the power is 8 simple so that fast you can get suppose my question is 6 cos of 20, uh, 2 pi by 70 so what is the power signal power signal is 6 square that is 36 by 2 so this is the answer answer is 18 now suppose for this i have example as 5 only 5 as i saw we had only 5 then what is the answer 25 now this is power because for periodic power signal power is constant so this is the answer for only 8i suppose i have i took one more example let's say 7 e raised to j 2 pi by 70 if this is the case then what is the answer it is periodic it will have power signal period uh, power would be amplitude square so 7 square is 49 so this is the power as simple as that so this is the flow if you got this you can solve any question of energy and power of continuous time signal if you like this video please do watch my discrete time signal also because same technique same tricks i will provide there but it is a completely different game because for discrete time signal we talk about summation for continuous time signal we talk about integral so i hope you like the video if you did please do share with your friends and recommend also to them so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel to milte hain agli video mein till then take care this is shrenik jain peace out